neither will your father forgive your trespasses. In my experience, and I don't know why it seems to be more so with women, but we really have a hard time letting go of hurts and disappointments. And we, we seem to just bury them deep into our hearts. And we think maybe we've been able to let things go and, and move on in life, but they affect us 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 years down the road. If truly we have not allowed the Lord to help us to um, heal the wounds that we all have experienced in our life. And um, I want to tell y'all about um, Sister Smith asked me to do the devotions while I was on vacation with my family. And uh, every we were we were right on the beach this year. We found this place that is like isolated and uh, was just right on the beach. And so me and my granddaughter, every morning before the sun came up, was going out to the seashore and treasure hunting for shells. And so that first day, I was only putting shells in my uh, little bucket that we both had for our shells. I was only picking up shells that didn't have any kind of um, crack in them. Only whole shells for me. You know, that was my determination. I'm not putting no broken shell in my bucket. I got the text from Sister Smith, and, and immediately as I was pondering the devotions, the next day as I was walking down the seashore looking for shells, and then plus looking at the shells that I had gotten the day before, I realized that all the whole shells are white. And to me, they're ugly. I like colorful stuff. I like the, you know, patterns that are on shells. Not those just plain old white ones. They look like rocks to me. Then you may be different. You may be like, oh, I love white shells. <laughs> but I'm just speaking for me. I was disappointed in my treasure the day before because I was determined I was not going to pick up any shells that were uh, cracked or broken. So, um, I, I did a little Googling <laughs> about shells. And shells are composed mostly of calcium carbonate, which is also found in rock, eggshells, and pearls. And they are white in color. All shells originate white in color. The colors that we see in seashells are caused by waste from the organisms captured in the shell when it is formed. Excuse to let our emotions overwhelm us. Being older can actually be a great time of freedom or service. Menopause can cause us to be very self-focused because we feel like um, the body snatchers have invaded and <laughs> taken us away. It's time to look outside of ourselves and to serve others as our help allows. Philippians 1 and 6, it reminds us that God, as the scripture says, that um, he will complete the good work that he has started. He may use the struggle of this time in our lives to further refine us. Um, one lady said, men of God won't kill you. It, it won't kill you. You may think you're dying. No, or wish you would die, but it's, it won't kill you. <laughs> and thirdly, grow old gracefully. And the way you do that is by growing old gratefully. Yes. I just heard that this last week, and I love it. I want to embrace that. When we have a grateful spirit, we're thinking on these things, all of these good, pure, and holy, and honest, all of those things. Gratefulness is graceful. Praise God in whatever state you are in. Amen.
You know you can't see me. <laughs> oh, smile, oh, Shannon. Oh, yeah, just smile. <laughs> it's on this end. There's room. Yeah, there you are. I can kind of see you. I see your teeth. Here, I want us to read some again in um, Hebrews chapter 6. And um, but I want to just come back up to Hebrews chapter 5. And I was looking at, um, I'm trying to understand what's going on here. And you got, I feel, I feel a little intimidated actually. In this I could put into words just how good it's been but like I said it is the last morning so it's Sunday morning and I'm out on the, the side patio drinking my coffee um, I wanted to come out here and show you guys how beautiful it is out here I told you guys that the drive up here is really pretty well when you get here it's super super pretty they, they've got like a, a river um, here and stuff that you can look out on from the patio so it's super pretty so I want to show you guys I've said like super pretty like five times but anyway um I'm sorry I haven't like vlogged really I haven't talked to you guys as much as I wanted to yesterday was pretty much a one big montage but but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how pretty it is here 
Here is the back patio that we're on. See? Proof. <laughs> but that's how pretty it is. And then we also have family camp at this campground. And the men have the men's retreat here. And so we see it during the summertime as well. And it is just really pretty. But during the fall time, all the trees are dying. So you can see the river more. But anyway, so pretty. A little research on Tootsie Rolls. And I know y'all are dying to know all this information about Tootsie Rolls. And it is such an important topic that one of the top ten universities in the country, Purdue University, did a study with their engineering students. And they created a licking machine that licks just like a tongue. And they figured out that it takes 364 licks to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop. <laughs> well, not wanting to be uh, outdone by this elite uh, college that figured this out, just a state university, University of Michigan, they got their chemical engineering doctorate students to create a machine that simulates a tongue licking a Tootsie Roll Pop, and their machine caused it to get to the center and 411 licks. And then a junior high school in Swarthmore Junior High School, they decided we don't need a machine. We'll just count how many licks it takes for us to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop. And it only took them kids 144 licks to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop. So, we're fixing to find out <laughs> how quickly a lady in the Church of God can get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop. Don't open it yet. You're cheating, Amy. <laughs> Crack it back up. You don't have to lick it. Let me just tell you that right now. You can chew on that thing and get to that center because we don't have time <laughs> to sit here for 144 licks this morning, okay? So when I say on your mark, get set, ready, go, let's see who can get to the Tootsie Roll that's inside the Tootsie Roll pot the fastest. Y'all ready? You ready, Sister Marlo? Y'all come on out here where everybody can see you. I want to see 